This is the future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigal Grim here and welcome to another episode of A History Of. This is the series where we talk about that past events right before they come back to Injustice 2 Mobile and past sales and see what happened in the previous years and discuss uh, what we can expect to see this year. So that being said, today we're going to be talking about the Labor Day sale and first of all let me get that out of the way as far as I'm aware. I might be wrong but I'm not doing that out of... Uh, Wanting to piss anybody off, I'm just I'm just dumb. But as far as I'm aware, Labor Day is going to be celebrated in America in the first Monday of uh, September, as far as I'm aware. And say uh, they usually go in just to mobile with a lot of American celebrations because their main audience is in America. So we're uh, very likely. I mean, it's kind of confirmed at this point, but we'll get into that later. That we're going to have Labor Day, and it's gonna be most likely Monday if they care to respect that. Uh, that's that's not up to me, so I don't know. So yeah, let's get into what happened the previous years, and obviously, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so nothing happened in 2017, they just released the game, they had a lot of other things to do and to fix and to add into the game, and so they didn't care, that's, that's 2017 for you. Okay, so in 2018, they actually chose to celebrate this, and they celebrated it in the worst way possible. Screw free-to-play players, let's give a measly 20% more gems on all gem packs for the pay-to-play players. First of all, this sucks for the free-to-play players, and it's always a bad business decision uh, to give uh, something only for the pay-to-play players. You need to, at the same time, give something for the free-to-play players so they don't feel left out and everybody's happy. Though Power Girl is looking kind of thick here, so I'm not too mad. Uh, but yeah, it was not even a big deal for the pay-to-play players, because... And let's just say buying straight up gems and not buying like bundles or something like that is not really the best deal or buying uh, a character. Buying gems is just not, does, doesn't really pay off because you'll use those gems to further gamble. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this was 2018. That will be disappointing. I know, let's get to 2019. Okay, so this was 2019. We had those two chests on sale. For the Labor Day, and let's take a look at them. First of all, um, the just League of Anarchy chest don't really. I mean, look, you can be optimistic about it actually, because I've said about so many chests, including the Anarchy Trio chest that was also on sale like um, in uh, 2019, and I've said about them, uh, don't worry, they'll not come back. But at the same time, we've seen a ton of chests coming back lately. So yeah, the League of Anarchy chest is. Uh, uh, arguably the best chest, especially on that sale. Boy, it's... Uh, keep in mind, this was before the rework. This was before the rework. So when this chest existed, they were not the very powerful character that they are today. But boy, if this came back today, it's at the cost of a premium chest and has... Oh boy, a total of a... 22% chance to get a League of Anarchy character, and on top of that it was even on sale. Nah, man. Like, the, if this just came out today, it would just straight up be the best chest in the game. But yeah, I'm not sure it will come back. It's quite unlikely because they seem to have kind of replaced this one with the Joker League of Anarchy after the rework of the characters, but as I said... I've told you many times in the past to be pessimistic, but yeah, this might come back, but though I doubt it will this year on this sale specifically. And then we got the Anarchy Trio chest, which was uh, an art chest we hadn't seen in a while until it randomly came back into the game some time ago. And this is yet again an amazing chest to get some shards for the League of Anarchy. Because while the amount of shards are not gonna be great, you're going to be guaranteed to get a League of Anarchy character shards in every single opening. So they definitely do pile up. So yeah, a thing like this wouldn't be bad. Again, this is... Uh, the Anarchy Trio chest is still one of the best chests in the game, even without a sale. Uh, but boy, if they if they would like bring not even for this sale, but if we would get to see the League of Anarchy chest that's on the bottom ever again, that would be just amazing. Though I doubt it, so don't get too much of a hope. So yeah, as far as I'm aware, this was everything that happened in uh, 2019. Again, I might be missing some things about those sales because sometimes it's hard to dig up what happened there. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is uh, most of the things that happened. So let's get into 2020. 
Okay, so this was 2020 and guess what boys, it was another summer sale. So in 2020 they got so lazy that uh, it might have been something related to the virus situation, but I don't know man. Uh, they, they just got so lazy and they had something that's called the summer sale where they were there was this platinum chest that was on, on a 25% sale and there was uh, the artifact chest that was on a 25% sale and j they just they just threw out the sale like a couple of times they even threw it out in October we had summer sale in October in 2020 but yeah anyway this was the sale that was put uh, on Labor Day. It was not necessarily marketed as Labor Day, but it was put when Labor Day should have been, so I guess we count it as that. We had a Platinum Chest that featured uh, uh, Manta, Darkseid, Grodd, Brainiac and uh, Arkham Knight Batman. It's better than the Platinum Chest that we currently have, because um, I think the one we currently have is missing Grodd as far as I remember, and has a Martian Manhunter instead of it. And Martian Manhunter is the 2% chance character, and this one Manta was the 2% chance character, and, uh, or the 1% chance character, and the other ones were 0 0.5. But overall, it was not really the best thing in the world. The on sale, eh. If you felt lucky, you could have justified opening it. And at the same time, we had the artifact chest, something that uh, I never believed I see again, but they uh, randomly reintroduced it, though it's missing the artifacts from the most recent sale raids. But yeah, this thing was released as soon as Dawn of Apocalypse released. If you tuned into the game, uh, when like Rise of Krypton was released, when Advent of Chaos was released, you are regarding these Sorade artifacts as uh, something that you can, for the most part, unless you get crazy lucky, get uh, from uh, uh, paid offers. But uh, when Dawn of Apocalypse released, as soon as it released, we had a chest that contained all the Dawn of Apocalypse artifacts and chest. We're not the best chances in the world, but they were there. There was a possibility for you to be free to play and have access to all those artifacts. That's certainly not a thing anymore, and we've seen this chest make a comeback, but it was in uh, a state exactly like it was previously, in terms of the facts that it had only Azure and Dawn of Apocalypse artifacts, and they didn't bother to add Rise of Krypton, Advent of Chaos, or the Last Contract artifacts. I don't think the Last Contract was actually released by the time it, this came back, but nevertheless, you get my point. So yeah, I don't know about this either, not sure we'll see this this year, but I really, really hope this chest will make a comeback and a comeback in force and have all the artifacts, though. So, yeah, unlikely, but we can only hope. Now let's move on to uh, 2021. Okay, for, so, so for 2021, uh, the uh, things that we got uh, are a chest with uh, Deathstroke. I mean, we, we don't have like the... Uh, chest with the chances, the proper chest picture, but like this was found in the data of the game after they released the most recent update, and uh, it had a few names tied to it, Labor Day Recruit Chest, Labor Day Apprentice Chest and stuff like that, so there might be multiple chests but we're only having access to this, but yeah, uh, you know how every legendary character or almost every legendary character has a chest, like for example um, Raven Chest where you have an 8% chance to get Catwoman and a 2% chance to get Raven, like um, like the word Superman has with a 2% chance for him and the 8% chance for Grodd, this will most likely be the same thing, we'll get a 2% chance to get Deathstroke and an 8% chance to get Nightmare Batman, and if it's at full price it might not really be that worth it, but if it's on sale, um, we could go for that and yet again, we don't have like the full data on uh, stuff, so we don't know... Um, the price, the chances, or what's up with the different names, maybe we get more chests, but yeah, that's that's about it in terms of what I can tell you for 2021. Thanks so much for watching, this was it for this video, let me uh, know in the comments what chests you'd like to see on sale, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and with that being said, I'll hopefully see you all in the next one, goodbye! This is the future.